Breaking news for you. Some comments made just moments ago uh, from GOP frontrunner Donald Trump uh, during an interview saying if abortions were made illegal, there should be some form of punishment for women who break the law. Uh, and then just moments ago, the Trump campaign sending out a message to clarify things in this statement saying, if Congress were to pass a legislation making abortion illegal and the federal courts upheld this legislation or any state were permitted to ban abortion under state and federal law, the doctor or any other person performing this illegal act upon a woman would be held legally responsible, not the woman. The woman is the victim in this case, as is the life in her womb. My position has not changed. Like Ronald Reagan, I am pro-life with exceptions. President of Family Research Council, Tony Perkins, joins me now. Uh, Tony, I, I got to tell you, um, back in, when during Reagan's run, uh, these sort of religious slash social issues were extraordinarily important and helped to decide uh, who, who would win the, the election. I'm not so sure even, even abortion, which obviously is important to conservatives, uh, has the same sort of weight when it comes to picking the president anymore. Oh, I don't know. I think when you see this issue, you see the issue of religious liberty. I mean, these are very important issues. I mean, why else would Donald Trump make such a strong statement? Now, he, he responded thinking he was saying the right thing, but, but in fact, he was not. In fact, what troubles me most about his comments that he made to Chris Matthews was that he said there are some in the Republican Party, some conservatives, who say this should be the case, that women should be uh, punished. I don't know any conservative Republican that says a woman should be punished if she has an abortion. I mean, it's always been held by conservatives that the, the woman is a victim of the abortionist. And if, if like in the 20-week ban on abortion, the five-month ban, it's the, it's the doctor who violates the law. It's not the woman who is seeking the, the abortion. That's always been the holding of conservatives. Right. And I think this shows that Donald Trump is trying to get support of conservatives, but unfortunately he hasn't been around long enough among conservatives to know what they really think and what they believe on these issues. So does this make you question his, uh, the, the authenticity of his, his, his transformation, the evolution of Donald Trump, or, or is it just so new that he's not really uh, familiar with all the uh, sort of bedrock uh, beliefs and positions? Well, it could be either of the above. I mean, it could be the fact that, uh, you know, do I believe, I'm going to take him at his word that he has a new position, but it's clear he hasn't been around long enough because he's still projecting the things that the left is saying about the right, saying that conservatives want to see women punished for, for an abortion. That's not the case. I've never heard that from I've never heard colleagues. it either, yeah. So that's come, that, that comes off of a Planned Parenthood fundraising letter. So he's getting his information from the wrong source. If he's on this side now of the life issue, he needs to be hanging out with people who are actually protecting the life of both the mothers and the children. Well, 